Welcome to Italics, television for the Italian American experience. I'm your host, Anthony Tamburri. On this episode of Italics, we'll discuss Bilinguismo in New York, Bilingualism in New York, the first bilingual program in Italian in the borough of Manhattan. Our guests today are Stefania Pucheddu and Benedetta Scardovi. Stefania earned an MA in English Language and Literature in Italy and an MS in Food Policy in England. Benedetta, in turn, earned an MA in Translation Studies and has worked as both a translator and video editor. Both Benedetta and Stefania have been dubbed the Tiger Moms of Italian Bilingualism. They embarked on this voyage for a very simple reason. They realized that there were no options for fostering Italian learning within the public school system in Manhattan. Theirs was a grassroots movement, sparked by an increasing frustration with the lack of inclusion and opportunities for Italians within the New York public school system. Welcome to Italics, Stefania e Benedetta. Thank you. Thank you. Let's start out with why. What is it that really pushed you guys? In my case, um, ours is a trilingual household, and I speak Italian to the kids. My husband is French, speaks uh, French to the kids, and uh, they speak English uh, with everybody else. The two older ones uh, attend uh, a French dual langu language program in the city already. And uh, we saw how beneficial for them it was to attend the school so that they could uh, reinforce um, the knowledge that they already had speaking French with mm -hmm. their father from day one. So I realized that if there's a lot of um, options for French in the city, there were none, uh, unfortunately, for Italian. And since I have a third child that uh, is going to go into pre-K, <laughs> I figured it would be nice to have the same thing for Italian so that, again, it could reinforce uh, all the job that I do at home, mm -hmm. uh, speaking Italian to her. And then it happened that I met Stefania and um, we started talking about the fact that the lack of uh, resources for Italian and so we rolled our purse sleeves and... Yes. For me it was a bit different because we came from London, um, my husband is a Kiwi uh, but he's also, he speaks Italian so and at the beginning uh, our son went to school, a uh, state school in, in London and uh, we were told don't worry about his English, um, just speak Italian at home, that was great. So he was actually growing up bilingual. And then we moved here four years ago and uh, <laughs> all of a sudden Italian, you know, opportunities to speak Italian were really very difficult to find and at school uh, we, I mean, we had to accept the idea that the curriculum could, couldn't really include a lot of cultural stuff about Italy um, mm. or Europe. Uh, contemporary culture, never mind history. Uh, so, it, you know, after four years of really um, frustration and, you know, and of course, as the child grows up, um, you know, it starts, it, it has started doing, sp playing sports, uh, soccer and tennis and there's less time to do. Italian at home. Yeah. <laughs> so what are we going to do? Um, there are no enrichment programs equally in, especially after school in our district. So, and I met a, a new mum, Italian, and um, so she said to me, well, you know, I'm, it's myself and a group of other mums. Is there any way that we can speak Italian in school. And yeah. That's how it all starts. Okay. We should let our viewers know this is an element, this is pre-K to the fifth grade. Yes, that's right. right. Mm -hmm. And which school is it? It's PS242 in Harlem, yes. uh, 122nd Street and Lenox. Yeah. It's a lovely part of Harlem. Really nice. And there's a nice historical connection here, right? That's right. Because yes. Harlem was originally one of the very yes big Italian neighborhoods. Mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. yes. yes. And so this is the first public school in Manhattan yes, that has a, a bilingual program. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Now, I'm, I want to digress a little bit because you mentioned something very important, and that is you said you couldn't find really information in the history books, um, information really in the curriculum about Italy and mm, things like that. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Right. As a matter of fact, my son mm. is doing a project now between, and uh, he picked, he had to pick two countries, Italy, of course, and then China. Mm. So he had to um, come up with a list of facts and, you know, information. And 
you know, okay, well, all right, we have Google, but <laughs> hey, there's nothing in the public library. There's nothing in the school library as well. Mm -hmm. So that's really, uh, you know, it's, it's a bit sad, to be <laughs> honest. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So what were some of the challenges? Because you can't just go knock on a door and say to, this, to the principal <laughs> or the superintendent, hey, we're going to start a program. Right. <laughs> no. First of all, um, there was an attempt four years ago. Um, and since then, I've been involved a lot with the DOE, and I always went to the meetings, or tried to, meetings or conference about ELL, English, English language learners, because I really wanted to find out what the story was, why was it that many Italians were actually kind of integrating, they were, nobody was complaining about the fact there wasn't a DL uh, in Italian, mm -hmm. Now, especially now, there are so many. In DL, we should explain, dual, is dual, dual language. language. Yes. Which is yeah. bilingualism in, in public school. Right. Yeah. I went on stage during a conference and I called out for uh, any Italian family to, who <laughs> needs help with the, anyone who needs help with, with it, Italian, you know. Um, but that was, um, yeah, I suppose, you know, it wasn't the right time to do that. Um, you know, now that I had the chance to meet another group of families living in the area where I live, mm. then okay, let's try, let's see what happens. It was quite an interesting experiment. Mm. So what'd you do once you got the families together, then yeah. you had to go to the Department of Education? We, yeah. Well, yeah. yeah, each district should have a representative for the English language learners. So I went to him and I said, you know what, you know, I, this is what, what's happening. Well, you know, what can you, can you tell me? What, what can I do? And he basically said, you need to keep looking because four children is not enough. So this is how you know, we joined forces it all started. and uh, we started yeah. with this, you know, uh, database online. Uh, social that, media, a lot of social yeah, media. Yeah, and yeah, we'd so only, you only need to ask for the date of birth. And and an email, email contact uh, yeah. and, and school district and zip code. And it was important to specify that at least one of the parents had to be Italian because that what happens sometimes is that the DL starts and there are too many, I mean the class has to be balanced. There, have to be, there has to be 50% of the children um, speaking Italian and the other 50% speaking English. So there has okay. to be a cultural exchange, not just okay. a language exchange. Ah, so that's interesting. Um, okay. Yeah, so, um, so that was very important. So the only way we could actually work it out was to ask, okay, uh, does any of you, not the, not the nanny, not the babysitter, but any, I mean, either maybe a, a parent uh, or uh, a family member that speaks regularly Italian or reads books in Italian to your child. If that was the case, then yes, you are kind of, uh, yeah. A good fit. <laughs> yes, that's right. For, yeah. yeah. So the, this idea that this is open for both Italian origin and non-Italian origin. Yes, of course, yeah. And actually the non-Italian origin is an important aspect of the class, yeah, right? Of yeah, Yeah, yeah. Because, because when people hear, you know, dual language or bilingual, I think the first thing they think is that, okay, so if it's Italian, all the Italians are gonna go, or all mm, the Italian no. Americans are mm -hmm. gonna go. And I'm happy to hear this because one of the things that um, I'm delighted to see at times is when the population of the classroom is maybe only 50% Italian American, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Of the Italian class, let's yes. say the regular oh, Italian yeah. language yeah. class. Yeah. So. Typically, the school that hosts the DL has an assessment process yes. uh, before enrolling the kids, and they just want to maintain the balance. So, 50% supposedly native mm -hmm. Italian speakers, mm -hmm. and they merge them with 50% uh, Anglophones through mm -hmm. a simple assessment. They yes. can be just passively, they can have a passive knowledge of the language, so they would understand somebody speaking to them mm -hmm. in Italian and maybe react to mm -hmm. what they're asked to do, mm -hmm. even without speaking uh, mm -hmm. the language. Let's give our viewers an idea of what the classroom looks like, because um, from, from our conversations before, there are two teachers, is that correct? It depends, we it still don't okay. know. It, yes. okay. It's gonna be up to the principal to decide uh -huh. what, which type of dual language. It could be side by side, it's yes. called, uh, where also depending on how many pupils are uh, mm -hmm. enrolled, uh, um, they're gonna have either two teachers, one that's native Italian speaker, working alongside with a, an Anglophone, uh, an English teacher, and they alternate. 
they switch. Uh, one day everything is in Italian with uh, one teacher, and the other day. And when the you theory. say everything, we're talking about history, art. Yes, exactly. Uh, it's yeah, not going to be yeah. like a foreign language right. they learn. Right, right, exactly. Yeah, everything, all the curriculum is mm -hmm. going to be. American history in Italian. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? And then the next day in English. Yes, yes, right. yes. Okay, all right. Repetita yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Or there may be one teacher. Right, or one, right. just one teacher that. It's bilingual. Yeah, right. both. Yeah, this is, I find that this is the case, especially of uh, dual language programs that, ha that are very well established or, you know, that have been in mm -hmm. school for quite some time, mm -hmm. so it's much easier to find teachers. So, but we'll, yeah. we'll see. But it's not necessarily the most efficient way, yes. in my experience. Yes, Which is in the two the, 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 one. One person, the one person yeah. doing mm -hmm. both. So. Mm -hmm. Also because the, the kids, when they associate one person with one language. Yes. So it's mm -hmm. kind of confusing for them to go back and forth uh, between two languages once with they the same established person. Yeah. that this person is a native Italian yeah. speaker yeah. Mm -hmm. or English. So. Yeah. But it works mm -hmm. still better than yeah. nothing. Yeah. Yes, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> this is in Manhattan. It's the only one in Manhattan. But there's a precedent in the city of New York, right? Yes. Yeah. And there was already one yeah. in Brooklyn uh, in yes. a public school in Brooklyn. PS one one two. Yes. Yeah. Mm. And how long has that one been in? Uh, two or three years. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. We we are, I think we will, we would like to go and visit yeah. just to see. Yeah, it would be <laughs> nice. Yeah. Uh, among the many challenges, because the challenges don't don't end with convincing whomever you need to convince to do the program, right? Mm -hmm. Because um, then there are the mechanics of the teachers, for oh, example. Yeah. The textbooks, yes. right? Yes. Um, maybe some visual uh, TV programs, maybe? or Yeah, yeah material. Right? Yeah, material sure. of all sorts, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Uh, well, um, the Italian-American Committee on Education, of course, is yeah, you know, we're very grateful yeah, yes. Yes, um, for the help that they are going to provide. So yeah. that's, uh, and uh, we know that the, the principal has already uh, applied for, for funds, so resources should be there. We are also... Uh, we also have two bags of <laughs> books to distribute. Um, and we're going to have my, many more because yes. uh, so I know yes. that uh, a lot of uh, the families that we have contacted have a lot of books. And as the kids grow older, they're not interested anymore yes. in certain books so they can donate. And we've been collecting already mm. Italian books, oh, especially. Great. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah, no, well, Pass I them along. Doing, yeah, we, well, I think we're doing yeah. mm -hmm. really good. Now, what are the prospects for teachers? Um, because this is, right, because we're talking about a teacher that is not a quote-unquote Italian language teacher. No. This is someone who is an elementary school yes. teacher. Exactly. Yes. So ha so That's one of the she, challenges uh, we're yeah. facing right now. So he yeah. or she has to be certified as an elementary school teacher. Exactly. Mm -hmm. But yeah. then again needs this linguistic ability. Exactly. Right? Yeah. And who decides or who evaluates that? The linguistic ability. Yeah. Do we know yet? <laughs> <laughs> the principal. It's up to the, it's the principal. The principal. principal. Yeah. To, to yeah. decide. Yeah. Yes. To um to find the right person. Yeah. However, yeah, we're gonna help with the Italian, of she, course. Yes. She asked, yeah. she uh, asked to have our support because uh, right now she doesn't have the 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 means to uh, establish if uh, the level mm -hmm. of Italian of this teacher is good or not. So right. she reached out and she said, uh, please help me mm -hmm. with at least uh, vetting these new mm -hmm. teachers and yeah. to maintain, make sure they're yeah. bilingual. Uh, there is, the DOE has a bilingual hiring um, office. So in we're getting, the yeah. New York City yes. Department oh, of yes. Education. So, um, you know, they are helping us and the principal, the principal also I think has to go through like a sort of uh, training program um, and I believe even, even the teachers mm -hmm. once they've mm -hmm. been uh, notified. So, yeah. Yeah, no, that's... Uh, it's and there is, and you mentioned already, there's the Italian American Committee yeah. on Education, or IACE, and yes. I should say that I'm a member of the board. But well, there are only two programs, though, right? Now, when we, um, one of our friends and colleagues, uh, Filomena Fuduli Sorrentino, who writes for La Voce di New York, mm -hmm. had put up a, a graph that was a couple of years old already, but mm -hmm. it showed a ton of dual language programs. And there was no Italian. Yes, yes, I know. But at least now we can add yes. two. Yes. Right? One in Brooklyn and one 
in Manhattan. Yeah, mm. right. yeah that's right. Mm. Yeah. And yeah, we're hoping to create a domino effect with this, and maybe we already are in touch with yes. some families in we, Brooklyn. Okay. Yes. It's a different uh, part of Brooklyn, mm -hmm. and in Astoria, and mm -hmm. there's also interest over there. So, so we're still collecting um, details, you know, families, you know, details about families who are interested in the DL, definitely. Uh, mm -hmm. That is going to go throughout the summer. And <laughs> And the future, the, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yes, yeah. As far as I know, yeah. Harlem's up. It's mm -hmm. set up, right? Yeah. So now we need the students, and we need the teacher or teachers. Yes. Okay. Do we have any idea yet about how many students there may be? The process of enrolling or enrollment is still ongoing. Families need to know that they can still that they can still enroll yeah, up until the day school class starts. School starts. Yeah, That's yeah. good the because problem. they're going to be hearing us a few weeks before school starts, right. so yeah. there's still time. Yeah. yeah, especially because if the family, when filling out all the paperwork, uh, specified that Italian is the language spoken in the house, mm -hmm. and not English, Italian yes. is, then uh, they, the children are going to be considered as English language learner, mm -hmm. and they have the right to be educated in Italian. Yes. And there's no yeah. deadline. Yeah. So even if they move from Italy halfway through the year, exactly. they it, can still enroll the, in the Italian school dual has language. To, yeah. So yeah. the profile of the student is going to be foreign-bred American, right? To even someone who moves here from Italy. Yes. Right? Yes. And, and Especially. Finds yeah. him or herself uh, in the pre-K to fifth grade yeah. Yeah. In, in need of a school yeah. Bingo, Absolutely. he or she yes. can go that's to the, this. That's, yeah. if I might add, that yeah. my, my kid's school, um, the dual language uh, French program, that's exactly what happens. There's, at all times, there's French kids moving in, and the beauty of it is that their English is really limited. Mm -hmm. So you see them, even in the playground, they speak French to each other, and they, they basically push even anglophones to make an effort and yeah. to include them in their games, and they, mm -hmm. they both learn from so much other. from each other. Yeah. It's amazing, it's, yeah. it's beautiful to see. Yeah, so once a student finished the fifth grade, yeah, well, the beauty about this school is yeah. that it's uh, a school that obtained uh, four yes. years ago yeah. the International Baccalaureate okay. Certificate. Yes. So it's, it's a very attractive school in that sense because their, their yeah. curriculum is really interesting. Yes. We yes. should yes. mention yes. what the International Baccalaureate is. Yeah, it's something that was created in Switzerland uh, mm -hmm. at the beginning, mm -hmm. and it's not very common uh, in no. public schools. No. Uh, mm. right. But uh, yeah, the principal told us that there's a sort of hands-on learning that applies to the problems of the world. Uh, mm -hmm. So even outside of their little classroom uh, reality, and uh, they often take field trips. Uh, and also, um, they are taught to be open-minded. So that, uh -huh. that was, yes. In inclusive <laughs> that's what we want. and open-minded. <laughs> well, that's going to be probably one of the uh, side benefits, right, for the children, mm -hmm. because you're going to have uh, Italians and Americans, mm -hmm. and maybe even Italian-Americans, and, mm -hmm. and they're really going to learn from one another. They're Absolutely. going to learn yeah. about the different cultures and things yes. of that sort yes. that. You've gotten some good press uh, recently uh, for this. Of course, our friends at La Voce di New York have done some stuff online, but most yeah. recently, even Italy, and that's what we want. We want Italy to take notice of us, yes. right? Yes. Even Italy has taken notice of your efforts. So yeah. t tell us yes. about that. Very exciting. Um, <laughs> yes, yeah, very happy about it. So yeah. we'll see what we can, um, where we can go from there. Perhaps establish partnerships, you know, amongst teachers, resources, of course, yes. But you were interviewed by an important newspaper. We need to get this on record. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. there has been several. Yeah. They started off small yeah. uh, locally. Some of the local newspapers uh, of my region where I'm from, mm -hmm. uh, Emilia Romagna, connected with me. I shared the news, etc. So they published uh, a few articles there. Uh, El Corriere Romagna, Il Resto del Carlino. El oh. Resto del Carlino is yeah. a good yeah. news. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean, national newspaper. Yeah. yeah. And then ANSA sent out... We should say ANSA is the Italian news agency. Right. Yeah. 
And that news uh, report was picked up uh, by several others. And uh, we had uh, Il Sole 24 Ore that published uh, an article about the Italian dual that language. That wasn't too bad, was it? No, no. <laughs> we should say Il Sole 24 Ore is like the Wall Street Journal. I mean, yes. it's, it's that, Times, right, it's Financial yeah. Times in England, whatever. It's a major, major newspaper, mm -hmm. exactly. And it's a newspaper, um, and I'm happy to say someone involved in the arts, it's a newspaper that has it also its Sunday uh, Domenica, which is the cultural center. And so mm -hmm. the idea that, of course, they uh, would be interested in this, no, because yeah. the, the, it's a, it's both financial and mm -hmm. and also cultural, yes, and that's right. really yeah. wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. And you're here with us too. Yes, exactly. So we're gonna, exactly. you know, we're doing the Italian American thing here right. to make sure that everyone out there knows what's going on, because there are just so many benefits to. Mm. Mm -hmm. just to learning a second language, let alone yeah. being early. in a bilingual and, and, learn it and early. so early. early. Exactly. Social skills. Yeah. Social it's just the diversity, it seems to me, mm -hmm. that, you know, uh, the students pick up on, right. whether they're the Italians who are being, learning more about the United mm -hmm. States as opposed to the United States kids being, learning more about Italy and then the fact that they're speaking in another language because right. it's really sort of fun to be able to speak in a mm -hmm. second language. And, yeah, it you know. creates open mind and, yes. Yes, and yeah. opportunities. They might get interested in traveling, who knows, maybe spend a year abroad Soccer. and study yeah. somewhere yeah. else. Doing uh, Italian mm -hmm. football together. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're also very pleased that the principal of PS242 told us that they are thinking of implementing Italian for the rest of the school too, mm -hmm. not just for the Italian dual language ah. program. Yes, that's right, yeah. So they're going to use Italian as a foreign language, even in a general ed uh, monolingual oh. English. Are there bilingual programs that go beyond the fifth grade, go into middle school? Not in not Italian. Not in Italian. Not in French, Italian. Not but there is in French. In French and French. Is that our next yes. uh, step? Yes. Uh, that <laughs> Making and, sure. And the enrichment program exactly. that we want to start. Because, yes. What's too? the enrichment program? It will be something after school. Uh -huh. uh, maybe open to even students from other schools, uh, creating maybe different locations. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah. And this too yeah. would be bilingual. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. well, or would Italian, it be more? It would be, it would be English, Italian, 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 Italian only. Italian, okay, so classes, it would be for the reinforcement yeah. exactly. for yeah. Italian. Yeah. Maybe art classes, yes. uh -huh. music, music. Uh, oh. yeah. cooking, yeah. anything in Italian. Open to even older kids. Right. It's wonderful. It's just, you know, it's on the one hand a very popular language, mm -hmm. yet there are these obstacles, it mm -hmm. seems, um, when it comes to public schools and things of that yeah. sort, right? I mean, I remember even when I was in junior high school and high school, in junior high school, we could study Latin, French, or mm -hmm. Spanish, right? And so I studied Latin because I figured it was the closest thing <laughs> to Italian. Mm -hmm. And then in high school, of course, I could study Italian. Uh -huh. mm. And so I studied Italian. But, but it really, uh, and even a little bit today, even though Italian, let's see if we can say it, I think Italian is still like number four three or four in the world as far as the mm -hmm. language, yeah. most desired language to study. And I think in the United States, we're at about five or six. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When I refer back to um, Philomena's chart, there are so many other language <laughs> yeah. DLs, and yet there's, Flourishing. you know, yeah. <laughs> but, but Italian, uh, as of a couple of years ago, wasn't there. Yes. So, but we're off to a good start. I think Brooklyn, yes. yeah. Manhattan, we have a few Brooklyn. other boroughs we need to, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We need to maybe talk to, right? One in yeah. Brooklyn and, yeah. Yeah. Maybe you we guys as the Tiger like Moms a... can become also <laughs> the consultants, the go-to people for whom we need to, um, to consult with. Sure. Yeah. We're also helping um, a cluster of um, um, Italian families in uh, Brooklyn, the area of Williamsburg. Okay. Uh, and that's happening now. Mm -hmm. uh, we're hoping to have a meeting with um, uh, principal uh, within days, a few days. Yeah, there's already a principal. That's interesting. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Exactly. Wonderful. Really. Yeah. yeah. Great. So, um, and then basically, well, I don't know, I think uh, maybe you know, books and you mm -hmm. know, make sure that the fundraising, you know, um, is activated yeah. for us, uh, because obviously... Yeah. And definitely upcoming families, new families that arrive uh, oh, yes. yeah. because this is going to go on. Uh, right, and exactly. So it starts now with pre-K and K, but mm -hmm. then there's going to be a first. Uh, yeah. Of course, I mean, we, are, we already have a full class of pre-kindergarten right. uh, for 
next year. Yeah. Not this year, not next, this September, but yeah. next year. Yes. And thank you for joining us. Thank you. And we'll see you soon. Us. Okay. Right. Thank, thank you. you. Join. 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 Join the bilingual revolution. Thanks for watching this episode of Italics. I'm Anthony Tamburri. Arrivederci alla prossima puntata.